वेलकम माय डियर लर्नर्स फॉर दिस कोर्स ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स टू इन आवर मॉड्यूल 4 वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिजाइन ऑफ विविल गियर्स एंड वर्म गियर्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सॉल्व्ड अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन कंप्लीट डिजाइन ऑफ विविल गियर इन व्हिच द पिक सर्कल डायमीटर इज नॉट गिवन और नॉट नोन टू अस इन टुडेस लेक्चर वी आर टेकिंग अप अ सेम वैरायटी ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन व्हिच द पिक सर्कल डायमीटर इज नॉट नोन बट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस between the previous problem and the current problem is that he has given the Brinnell hardness number and asked us to verify whether the given Brinnell hardness number satisfies that the wear load is greater than the dynamic load if not we recommend the appropriate Brinnell hardness number for the given problem in our first lecture I have explained you the procedure for the complete design of dual gear in our step number 10 I explained you how to recommend the BHN if BHN is not at all specified in the question and ask us to recommend and how to recommend the BHN if BHN is given and ask us to verify it and recommend the BHN if the condition is not satisfied. So if you clearly observe the problem number 2, the problem number 2 of our discussion states that Design a pair of bevel gears to transmit 12 kW at 300 rpm of gear and 1470 rpm of the pinion. The angle between the shaft axis is 90 degrees. The pinion has 20 t and the material for gears is cast steel. He is clearly stating the material for gears. In the sense, for both the gears, pinion and as for gear, it is cast steel with the allowable static stress of 183.33 megapascals. The very important point he has given as the BHN as 320. So this is the major difference between the problem number 1 which I solved in our previous lecture and this current problem. Take service factor as 1.25 and check the gaze for wear and dynamic load. Suggest suitable surface hardness for the gear pair. If you clearly answer the question, he has given the BHN and asking us to verify. If the verification fails, then he is asking us to recommend the suitable surface hardness for the given problem. Now, if I disturb the data and analyze the data, the pick circle diameter for this problem is also not known to us. So therefore, moving on for the prerequisites, I should solve this problem for m cube CV type by formulating the module equation which is nothing but equation 12.37 of our design data handbook and the second prerequisite is number of teeth on pinion and gear it has been given in the data itself nothing to worry coming for the step 3 that is material details no need to worry both are made of cast steel and allowable static stress is given in the data itself now follow the same procedure what we have employed in the previous lecture that is our lecture 2 of module 4 and find out the pitch cone angle in step 1 then equivalent number of teeth in step 2 then in step 3 you should find the Levy's form factor since it is 20 degree full depth involute teeth you should use equation 12.5d which is nothing but y is equal to 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 by z equivalent. Next, moving on for step 4, you should calculate the weaker member. No need to worry about that because from our knowledge, we know that when both the gear and pinion are made up of same material, pinion will be the weaker member. Moving on for step 5, calculate the module by using the equation 12.37. The module for this problem will be turning out to be 3 millimeters. Next, moving on for step 6, you should verify for induced stress and allowable static stress. Moving on for step 7, you should find the standard tooth proportions of bevel gear and various dimensions. Moving on for step 8, you should calculate the bearing loads. That is from equation 12.45. A to 12.45 F of our design data and book written by K. Madhavan and K. Balivir Reddy. Then in our step 9, we will be finding the dynamic load. 
In finding the dynamic load, the only difficulty is to find the dynamic factor C. Since the class of gear is not given, we should find the error first by using the table 12.14. If I calculate the error by interpolation for the velocity 4.618 meters per second, I will get the error as 0.0667 from table 12.14 of our design data handbook. Next. Using this error, again moving on for table 12.12, the dynamic factor for this problem is turning out to be 763. This is also determined by using interpolation technique. Next, the dynamic load is nothing but Ft plus the term which is available in our design data handbook. If I calculate, the Ft is turning out to be 3248 newtons and the term, remaining term will yield as the value as 13,219.6 newtons. If I add the total dynamic load for the given problem is 16,468 newtons. So till this point follow the same procedure and steps of problem number 1 which is nothing but our previous lecture. Now in recommending the BHN that is in step 10 the problem deviates because he has given the BHN in the question itself. Let us solve for step 10. Verify the BHN. If the condition fails, let us recommend the BHN. Step 10 is to find the BHN and wear load. As I explained in the lecture 1 of our module 4, the design procedure, since BHN is specified in the question, let us verify it first. That is, from equation 12 point 15D, page number 208, the endurance stress is given by sigma endurance is equal to 2.75 times the BHN minus 70. This is from equation 12.15D page number 208. Now, if I substitute and solve, I will get the endurance stress as 2.75. The BHN given to us is 320 minus 70. The endurance stress is turning out to be 810 mega pascals. Next, Use the equation present above this equation, that is equation 12.15b to find the value of k which is given by k is equal to sigma endurance square sin alpha that is pressure angle divided by 1.4 times 1 by Young's modulus of pinion plus 1 by Young's modulus of gear. This is from equation 12.15b of page number 208. The unknowns are the Young's modulus. The Young's modulus are available in our data handbook that is referring to table 1.18 of appendix 1 of page number 418 for carbon steels the Young's modulus is 206 GPA therefore substituting the values I will get the value of K as K is equal to the endurance stress is 810, 810 square into sign of pressure angle is 20 degree involute divided by 1.4 times 1 by 206 into 20 to the power of 3 mega pascals plus 1 by 206 into 20 to the power of 3 mega pascals. If I solve, I will get the value of k as 1.4. 556 mega pascals which is nothing but stress factor 
The stress factor is 1.556 megapascals. Now, we have calculated the value of stress factor, so therefore we can calculate the wear load. The formula for wear load is already known to us. The formula for wear load is D1 B Q equivalent K divided by cos of delta 1, which is available in our data handbook, which is given by equation 12.41 page number 219 in our step 1 itself we will be calculating the pitch cone angles that is delta 1 and delta 2 using that in our step 2 itself we will be calculating the equivalent number of teeth on pinion and gear so using those data find the value of q equivalent below this equation itself we have the formula for q equivalent which is given by Q equivalent is equal to 2 ZE2 divided by ZE1 plus ZE2. In our step 1 itself, you will be calculating the value. The value will be ZE2 is equal to 490 and ZE1 is equal to 20.4. That is 2 times 490 which you are calculated in your, your step number 2 and ZD1 is 20.44 plus 490 Q equivalent will be 1.92 So substituting all the values into this equation I will get the wear load as wear load is equal to the value of diameter D1 is nothing but m times z1 m is 3 z1 is 20 so therefore d1 is 60 so 60 times we have already calculated the value of b that is 50 times q equivalent is 1.92 k we have calculated which is 1.556 whole divided by pass of delta 1 which we have calculated in your set number 1 which is turning out to be 11. 535 degrees. If I solve, I will get the wear load as 9146. If you clearly observe the answers, the dynamic load is 16,468 newtons, whereas the wear load is 9146 newtons. Since FW is less than FD, the design fails from strength point of view. So, therefore, the BHN what he has given that is 320 is not suitable for this problem. So therefore we should recommend the BHN. FW is less than FD. BHN is not valid. So therefore we should recommend the BHN. Now as we know the procedure to recommend the BHN, the procedure to recommend the BHN is FW should be greater than or equal to FD. We know the formula of FW, we know the value of FD. Substituting all the values of this equation except K, find the value of K. If I do that, I will get the value of K as D1 is known to us. The value of D1 is 60 into B is 50 into Q equivalent is 1.92 times the stress factor which I should calculate divided by cos of 11.535 degrees should be greater than or equal to FD which is 16,468 newtons. If I simplify K must be greater than or equal to 2.8 Recalculate to find the value of BHN. So now we have found out the value of K. At the part of K, you substitute this equation and find the sigma endurance. So in the position of K, substituting this equation and finding out sigma endurance, that is, instead of K, I will substitute it as sigma endurance square sine of 20 degree divided by 1.4 times 
वन बाय ई वन प्लस वन बाय ई टू शुड बी ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट एट सब्सट्रूट ऑल द वैल्यूज एक्सेप्ट सिग्मा इंटरेंस सो इफ आई सॉल्व आई गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा इंटरेंस एस इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड एटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव वन फाइव मेगा पास्कल नाउ यूज़ दिस equation that is equation a in case of sigma endurance and find the value of bhn that is instead of sigma endurance if i use this equation i can write it as 2.75 into bhn minus 70 should be greater than or equal to 1086.515 if i solve i'll get the condition as BHN must be greater than or equal to 420. So therefore, we should adopt the BHN which should be greater than or equal to 420. Now, if you refer the table 12.16 by using the value of k greater than or equal to 2.8. Now, from Table twelve point one six for steel and steel with twenty degree full depth involute teeth. The value of K greater than two point eight is you should adopt three point two two six. So adopting K is equal to three point Two to six, we can obtain the BHN for pinion as 450 and for gear as 450, which are greater than the required BHN more than 420. Therefore, BHN for pinion and BHN of gear both are turning out to be 450 and 450 respectively. so this is the procedure one has to employ to find the bhn if the bhn is given in the equation and asked to verify if we would have found fw greater than fd then the bhn what he has given 320 holds good for this problem so no need to recommend the bhn once again since the condition fw greater than fd failing that is if W wear load is less than the dynamic load, so therefore the BHN 320 what he has given is not valid for the problem. Hence, by knowing the procedure to obtain the BHN, I found out the value of stress factor. The limiting value is 2.8. In the position of K, I substituted this equation and found out limiting value of sigma endurance. In the position of sigma endurance, I substitute this equation and found out the limiting value of BHN. The limiting value of BHN is found to be greater than or equal to 420. Next, by referring to table 12.16 for steel and steel combination for 20 degrees, for limiting value is 2.8 greater than that is 3.226. If I add up, the BHN is found to be 450 and 450 respectively for pinion and gear. Which are obviously greater than the limiting value 420. So this is the procedure you should employ in step 10 if the BHN is given in the question and asked to verify and also asked to recommend if the limiting condition fails. That's all from this lecture. Thank you.